Hello. My name is Elder Vosepka. Hey guys, I just got home from a job interview, so that's why I look so nice. But anyways, I try hard. Um, welcome to Why So Queerious. It's so nice to see you on Friday. I wanted to talk today about something that is coming up this weekend. So, this Sunday is May 22nd, and uh, that's a pretty big day. Why, you may be asking? Well, that day is Harvey Milk Day. Now, you may be asking who is Harvey Milk or what is Harvey Milk because, I mean, how could that be a name? It is a name. It's a person. Um, it's actually a very significant person in LGBTQ history. Harvey Milk. Who was he? He is one of the most prominent names in LGBTQ history. So, why is that? He was one of the first ever openly gay men elected into public office in California. What office he was in was the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. He was elected into this position in 1977. He served in this office for 11 months until his assassination on November 27th in 1978. Not only was he assassinated on that day, so was the mayor of San Francisco, Mayor Moscone. He was assassinated by a member of the same board that he was on, Dan White. This was a really big thing that happened. Conflicting ideas between him and Harvey Milk and, and of the offices and of the changing city um, pushed him to assassinate Harvey Milk and Mayor Moscone. Harvey Milk was a huge civil rights leader, even if he didn't call himself that. He was a visionary. He had this world in his head of a better place for everyone. He actually set out to create that better world. His life and his potential was really cut short by his murder. It was a huge hit to the city, especially with both Mayor Moscone and Harvey Milk, because Mayor Moscone was a huge supporter of Harvey Milk and what he was doing. Definitely could say that he was an ally to the community. After Harvey Milk was assassinated um, that night, a huge candlelight vigil was held, and basically thousands and thousands and thousands of people just flooded the streets um, in honor of Harvey Milk and Mayor Moscone. If you like, have ever seen footage of that moment, it's so impactful. It's so touching to see because, yeah, it's just, he really could have changed a lot, and honestly, he did. He proposed um, a, a large gay rights bill in the state and got it through, and that was a huge thing for the state at the time. Harvey Milk lit a fire in the eyes of San Franciscans, and after his assassination, that fire could not be put out. Um, everything that he stood for and everything that he wanted to accomplish was really put at the front of the gates for everybody in that city, and it pushed the gay rights movement very much forward into action. His will that he had recorded much before his death, but he actually recorded a will in light of his assassination that was so inspirational. And I'm actually gonna post a video down in the links below of that, of his last words um, on audio and go watch that video because it's it's so inspirational and you'll kind of get a feel of who he is but um yeah i i'll also post other links down below of like his candlelight visual and of um other things definitely an important person to know about in the lgbtq community and lgbtq history and culture why is he important well he kind of proved that it's never too late to do something. He didn't really speak out about his sexuality or about politics and be involved in politics until he was like 40. So all of you people that think us young youngins are the only ones that can do stuff and make things happen, you are wrong because anybody can make a difference and anybody can do something if they believe in it. He was also such a proponent of hope and just being hopeful for a better future, but moving towards that better future, not just waiting for it to happen. His come out, come out wherever you are ba campaign slogan basically um, was encouraging people that in order for change to happen, we have to come out. We are your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, fathers, cousins, coworkers, teachers, bosses. And people need to know that, that LGBTQIA people are everywhere and that people need to realize that in order to realize that we're just like you. We're just like everybody else. He was very theatrical and, and, and 
outlandish in ways, and uh, that eventually got him the support that he needed to be elected into office, and he did a lot in 11 months. So, I mean, I just want you guys to know about him. This Sunday, May 22nd, is his birthday, and also Harvey Milk Day. There's a movie called Milk that has Sean Penn playing um, Harvey Milk, and it's very well done. It does a good job of capturing his career, you could say. Um, and I would definitely go check out that, definitely check out the links below, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Click the like button down below if you did like this video. If you have any other people in your repertoire of LGBTQ history, if you have any names that you want me to know or talk about, comment them down below, please. And also, if you would like to see more of my beautiful, fancy, smiling, laughing face every Friday, please click the subscribe. Subscribe, uh, uh, da, ba, da. Subscribe, yeah. Uh, uh. All right, you guys. I love you so much, and have a great rest of the weekend. Okay, bye.